All right, hello everybody. We are about ready to do a home system test today. First time we've done a full test in about three months or so. I am home by myself, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. But before I do, I'm gonna go ahead and say something real quick. I've changed the coding on the horns to continuous as opposed to code three like it was last time. And that's because Continuous makes it so that it's unbearably loud inside the house, but once you get outside, it's harder to hear. It's harder to notice, easier to ignore, just because it's a continuous sound as opposed to code three. So that's an update I just wanted to give. So I'm gonna start by doing a test of all the devices. That's gonna be a silent test, and then we're gonna set the horns off for a little bit. So let's get started. All right, so let's begin the testing process real quick. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the panel. And uh, if I can get a look at the screen, I'm gonna go to login to level three, and I'm not gonna show the passcode. And we are in level three. So what I do is I go to control view, NAC, and this is the, uh, that's the knack for the home system, the uh, horn strobes, the true alerts all around the house. So we're gonna hit enter. I'm gonna disable it. And now we are disabled. So now I'm gonna go around and test all of the devices with the exception of the devices on the basement system, which those will not be tested but everything on the home system will be tested. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with this pole station right here. And um, you know what? I'm gonna pull it when we do the, uh, when we set off the uh, horn, so I'm just gonna key activate it for simplicity. We've got our first alarm pull station by FACP, which is that right there. So I'm going to go test the rest of the devices. This is the smoke above the FACP. This better not activate the uh, demo system. Okay, so that activated. This is the basement family room in this area right here. Go and spray that detector out. There it is. Red LED came on. Let's do the next one. Next up, this is considered the storage area. It's called the storeroom in the panel programming. So, spray that detector right there. Hope then set off the uh, residential smoke alarm that we have over there. And there it is. Next up is basement stairway pole station. There it is. Next up is the upstairs hallway pole station. There we go. Up next is the hallway detector. And yes, I'm aware that these detectors upstairs look terrible, but spray a little smoke in that. We don't set off that smoke alarm over there. There it is. So now we are in my room, and we're going to set off that detector right there. That should be enough. Ha! Ah, there it went. Okay, so that activated, and apparently that activated quicker despite it just being a cheap household smoke alarm. But there it is. 
it went off like right afterwards after I stopped recording. So the home system works and we're gonna go down and reset and set off the horn strobes. Before I go down and reset, I think I might just show you this right here. This is another addition to the home system. It just provides extra audible and visual coverage for the system. And what else it does is that these older True Alerts are a little bit lower pitched than the newer ones throughout the rest of the house. And that creates the, uh, the sound that you can hear. It's hard to explain, but like it becomes more raspy almost when you hear the two different generations sound together. You'll hear it when I set off the home system. But it helps differentiate between my other systems and this system when it goes off. So I just thought I'd throw that in. So now we're back at the panel and go ahead and open this up and we'll scroll through our alarms. The first one is Pull Station by FACP. Then we had the Smoke FACP room, Basement Family room, Basement Store room, uh, Basement Stairway pole, Floor 2 Hallway pole, Floor 2 Hallway smoke, and Bedroom East smoke. So there it is. Those are all the initiating devices. So we'll go ahead and silence this and we'll try to reset it. I don't know if it will. Ah, oh, cool, it did. So that's the, that's the first part of the test. So now we're gonna go back into menu Make sure we're still in level three, which we are. Control view, scroll down to NAC, select NAC one and enable it. Wait, oh yeah. I forgot I had removed the smoke detector on the basement system just because it would not stop activating that. Sneak peek, by the way. So I'm going to put that back on and we're going to go set off the home system. Okay, I apparently kept the camera rolling, so you got to see some of the area that I work in. It is a bit of a mess, but I guess you just saw it. But there it is. So now we're going to go back upstairs and pull the T-bar upstairs and set off the home system. So, I'll see you up there. So for the bell test, as always, we're going to pull this pull station right here. Here we go.
I will tell you, this is my loudest home system ever. I can't even tell you how loud this thing is. So, as you can probably tell by the reflection, but if we look up there, there's audible silence on all the devices. So those continue to flash. I think we can go look at the, uh, the other one over here. There it is. And yes, I am aware that is a wall mount on the ceiling, but quite frankly, I don't care. So I'm gonna go back over here, uh, reset the panel. And there it is. That concludes the home system test with this panel. As always, thank you for watching. Be sure to check out my GroupMe and eBay. Both links are in the description. Thank you and have a great day.